So for today, we're going to be looking at the parade set for the Hunters. If you guys know, we already reviewed the armor and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys, you guys can check it out. Definitely cool armor pieces for all of the classes. But if I'm being honest, the coolest set is going to be probably either the Hunter or the Titan. Like I said, I explained it further in that video, but the Warlocks, I think, got the weirdest set. But the pieces are really, really good. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. It really does help especially during this time since i'm not working on the channel as much it helps uh just to see people comment and liking really motivates me to make co more content for y'all uh one thing to note is that if you guys watched my review video for this armor you guys will note that there is a new format instead of all of the classes i showcased uh the hunter titan and then warlock individually with the male and the female uh versions of the armor next to each other I'm going to be doing that for this video as well. So for the example sets, I'm going to be showing both male and female. So that way you guys are aware how it looks on both. Just because again, like I said in that video, I know people were going to ask me now that we have that option to change it, which I'm actually pretty happy about. I knew people were just going to ask me if I could do it for them. So that way they can see how it looks on their gendered class. And I just decided to just do it right now. So that way I don't get people asking me. So. Let me know what you guys think about this new format. If you guys don't like it, I am definitely happy to go switch back because this actually takes a little bit longer because I have to record the extra portion of the other gender. Not only that, the new format. Well, I like the new format, but it just takes a lot more time. But I am happy to do this just because I do like it a lot more. So other than that, let's look at the first set. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet, and this should be tailored to going from the helmet all the way down to the class item. And this one does have all five pieces used in armor sets, and that goes for all the classes. So hunt Titans and Warlocks, don't think I forgot about you guys. If I'm being honest, Warlocks, your bond set, I love a lot, but we'll get to that when we get to that. For this one, we're going to be using the Continuum Alloy Shader just because uh, this is a remix of a set that I made. Um using the Caliban's hand and the only difference well there's a lot of differences here <laughs> actually now that I think about it yeah the only pieces that stayed from that older set is going to be Caliban's hand and the Sun Apex strides other than that the Warriors Memorial Caress and the White Wolf Cloak are completely different with the helmet as well so for this one I the helmet kind of gave me like regal looking vibes, which is why I switched out a lot of the pieces from the older set, just because I feel like it didn't give that set enough like royalty or like uh, like bouginess, I guess. And I knew for sure Warriors Warriors Memorial Caress was going to give me that because of just the amount of I guess the amount of like uh engravings and whatnot i was just i was like I, it's gonna look good with it and then white wolf cloak because i wanted uh swords in there as well and i also just noticed this but the chest piece and the pants actually go together pretty well because the chest piece has this like round leather sat like a uh, waist that almost goes with the boots as well which is really not boots but the like waist has that like circle leather as well which is really really cool so i definitely like this one a lot um I would probably say this is like probably one of the strongest sets that I made in this video. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head right now. So from from right now, I would say this is my favorite so far. As for the next set, we're going to be utilizing Graviton Forfeit for this one. And I will first of all, I will just I just want to start off by saying I don't think this set looks bad by any means. I think the only thing I could I messed up a little bit is maybe just switching out Graviton Forfeit for another exotic helmet. That being said, I like the like void cowboy look that is kind of giving me the vibes. And overall, I really do like this set for the shader. We're using Royal Treatment just because I wanted purple in there because obviously Graviton Forfeit has that purple visor and I wanted to like to like have some colors that go well with that. That being said, I think the ornament would have looked a little bit better just because it is a darker purple. Um, but for the arms, obviously we're using the parade arms. For the chest piece, Starfarer's vest, the TM Erp custom chaps for the boots, and then for the cloak, Intrepid Discovery cloak. So this is obviously very like cowboy themed. I think a lot of the pieces aside from the helmet is very cowboy themed. And for me, this just kind of gave it a void-esque cowboy theme, which is why I like it a lot. Um, I didn't mention this in the first set, but I think I think the, the male hunters kind of like eat this set a little bit better than the, the females. 
just because the females look a little bit more thin for the arms that being said the males have that as well but at least the males had look a little bit more like foreboding like they look a little bit scarier than the females the females just look a little bit too thin but that's kind of it makes sense but for me i prefer the male version let me know what you guys prefer as for the next set we're going to be using the prey chest piece with the lucky pants exotic with the deep pockets ornament so this one i think is damn near perfect uh illicit collector mask for the helmet starfarer's grips for the arms and then the tm erp custom cloaked stetson i love all of these pieces with the ensilvered snare i think it looks amazing i think ensilvered snare is definitely a cheat shader because any sh any any or, or any set that you use with this shader just looks amazing off the bat and i think that's straight up cheating in my opinion but at the same time the shader is just such a dub that i really don't care like i love the shader a lot and you get it from just uh not dying in um grasp of avarice which is pretty easy or pretty simple i should say and yeah i from the genders i will definitely say i think the women's looks a little bit better like for sure I don't know what it is i think it's because the arms look a little bit better for them because their chest piece already looks small so the arms don't look small with it it looks kind of like the same that's the problem with the males is the fact that the arms look a little bit too thin for their chest so i think the the females uh hunter right here definitely ate better that being said i would probably switch out the helmet for something a little bit better that it's not even a problem that the females have i think the males have that problem as well but i wanted to have that like outlaw look which is why i wanted to keep it but i would definitely switch the helmet out for something else maybe the tm helmet i think that one would look really cool considering that goes with tm or the cloak one but let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set we're going to be looking at lucky raspberry for the exotic and this one is another cowboy theme and i didn't realize just how thick i went with cowboy themes until i was like editing this video and i was like man like i really just wanted to do cowboy themes which is very fair because like a lot of the pieces from the parade set does give off that cowboy theme more more so the chess piece and the boots in my opinion but for this one we're gonna be using masquerade's cow with the tm herb custom grips and then for the cloak we're gonna be using the illicit collector cloak so i never really use the collector cloak or the illicit cloak in general just because sometimes it doesn't look good with this set it looks absolutely amazing my favorite part about this set is the iron bone shader i love this shader it's one of my favorite shaders but the other favorite part is the fact that it is asymmetrical but the weight is in evenly distributed and what i mean by that is the boots have a metal plate on the left uh, thigh and then they have that plate on the right shoulder uh, and i think it evens it out really well to the point where like it just looks amazing because it's it's almost like a one-to-one -one for the etm or -E tm erp uh, custom grips with the parade boots because you see the metal uh piece on each of the sides but then you see like the arms for example has that really cool like a uh, design for i guess a shirt and then the boots have that really cool design for the boots so it kind of matches in that sense and i really really like that and what i find funny about me using lucky raspberry is the fact that the belt has the hunter insignia but then you also have that insignia on the actual like hip or not hip but the thigh metal as well and if i really wanted to i could probably just start putting on other hunter stuff because we do have a bunch of hunter stuff specifically we have some arms that have the hunter insignias which uh, again would have been funny just to have really laid on thick with the hunter insignia but this one i specifically really like both of the genders i don't think any each either one is better than the other one i think both of them are really really cool the, the hunter looks like a very like heavy person but it's the opposite for the females the only thing i would switch out for the females would be the helmet actually i think the helmet doesn't look as good as the males so that one i would probably switch out with the tm erp helmet i think that would look cool because that helmet would most likely be more of that brown cloth color instead of the chrome which i think would look really cool but i definitely like this one a lot now that we've got to almost the last one the next one's gonna be the last one i honestly can't say which one's my favorite i think a lot of these are really really good i would probably say that the one with the lucky pants is my favorite that being said 
I would most likely switch out the arms for the TM Herb Custom Cloak sets in set or the arms, just because it'll even it out with the with the weight. But let me know which one is your favorite so far. And then last but not least, this is also a remix of a set that I made with me just adding a different cloak to this one. And for this one, we're going to be using Assassin's Cal with the Gilded Moment Memento ornament. And then we're going to be using the White Wolf Grips uh, for the arms, Unyielding Favor Vest for the chest piece, and then the Warrior's Memorial Strides for the boots. Specifically, these three pieces because all of these three pieces have chainmail, and that's like the general theme of what I was trying to go for. For the cloak obviously we're using the parade cloak and this one i wanted more of a regal looking hunter because i feel like the cloak really gives off that vibe i've seen some i've seen people do some cool shit with this cloak specifically i've seen raven from teen titans i've seen um Ezio from assassin's creed and i think people are killing it with this with this cloak i think it's super super cool for me I was just kind of like, I want to add some more bougie to the set that I already had. And this is what I came up with for the shader. We're using Dreaming Spectrum specifically because each of the chain melt colors are different. Uh, so specifically, the Unyielding Favor Vest is a different color for the Warriors Memorial Strides for the chain melt, which is why we're using Dreaming Spectrum. But if you have another shader that combines colors, I think that would be way better just because Dreaming Spectrum, as much as I love, this is my favorite shader in the game, uh, so much so that it's actually the shader that my thumbnail is based off of uh and yeah it's one of my favorite shaders but i do think i overuse it which is why i'm like i probably would switch out for something else so let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about the new format i definitely really like it i love the fact that i can show you the male and the female versions because that now people can actually see how their set would or my set would look on their corresponding gendered guardian and i think that's super cool because uh I always like to show you as much as possible so that way you guys can just get all of the information in one go and not ask like, oh, I wish I wonder how that would look on my guardian or I wonder what this would do in this and that and, st and stuff like that. <clears throat> I want to get to the point where uh, I show you guys like my example sets and then show you like, oh, well, if you guys don't have these, then I can switch things around because specifically uh, for the last set. As an example, Unyielding Favor Vest is not in the game anymore. You can't get that. So I would love to just go in to go back to that set and be like, if you guys don't have this, this is also a really good replacement. It's just that for right now, I want to do just the stuff that I know how to do like really fast because this video most likely will take me like at most a day. And that's with me working in that day. So most likely like what, 12 hours or 11, not even 12 hours, like eight to 10 hours maybe so it's just me trying to like push out content for you guys but i think at one point once this channel starts to make a little bit more money where i can actually stop working as much on my real job then i can start posting a lot more of the detail stuff that i want to do but for the meantime let me know what you guys think i appreciate you remember hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to my current content because i do think my content is worth it other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later